What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're gonna be talking about a bunch of new secrets and weapons that were revealed with the new Modern Warfare 2 trailers plus even more. Definitely stay tuned but before we jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because we're very close to 100,000 subscribers here on the main channel. Really appreciate it. Also drop a like and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, Warzone Mobile and any other future Call of Duty as well. Now you guys probably saw a celebrity Modern Warfare 2 trailer did drop a good 12 hours ago time of recording this video. You can see celebrity Celebrities like Lil Baby, Nicki Minaj, Lando Norris, Pete Davidson, the Nuke Squad, and many other athletes taking part in this chant for the launch of COD 2.0. Now, the trailer itself is just for promotional material, obviously. It's not really one of those old celebrity trailers like we used to get where you have celebrities taking part in a very cinematic, like, advertisement that seems like it would be a Call of Duty campaign mission of sorts. Think back to the ones we used to get during Black Ops 2, but it was awesome seeing this new type of marketing going into the beginning of COD 2.0, but let me know down below. What other celebrity collabs do you guys want to see during Modern Warfare 2's life cycle? I know I reported on this a couple of weeks ago, but Cardi B was going to have a bigger role in Modern Warfare 2's marketing, but because of legal issues, she lost a multi-million dollar deal. I posted a short all about that here on the main channel, which I'll have linked down below. But before we continue with a bunch of new secrets and weapons that were revealed in the new marketing, let's go ahead and take the sponsor of today's video. Now tonight's video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. A big concern in the gaming world is having your data taken from you, but with Atlas VPN, you can stay under the radar when playing games or browsing the web while retaining ultra fast connection speeds. You can also prevent websites from tracking your info and selling targeted ads to you. You also don't want private conversations to be read by the websites you use either. It blocks all malicious links, ads, and trackers, and will notify you when someone is trying to steal your data. One of the best features is being able to view content that is blocked in your region, whether that be a web website or show over on Netflix. We all know the struggle with that, right? Well, you can log in with Atlas VPN and get access to videos that aren't normally available to you by changing your IP location. You can also get discounts on products that may be cheaper in other regions too. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. It means you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.83 a month, plus three months for free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Timer's running out though, so get your deal by clicking on the link in this video's description or the pinned comment, and thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring tonight's video. Now back to the video, we did get two gangster trailers for Modern Warfare 2, both of which released on the same day, which is funny. One of them is considered a launch trailer, the other one is considered just the PC overview trailer, and both contain some great cinematics, awesome new gameplay, and some reveals that you probably missed. So, the first thing I'll say is that Glenn Morshauer is indeed going to be playing the new Shepard here in our Modern Warfare reboot. I know people out there were a bit upset that he doesn't have the famous mustache. Maybe he'll get it if there's campaign DLC, or at some point in year two if he survives. It's unclear what Shepard's role is going to be here in the new Modern Warfare 2, but it's ironic that Glenn Morshauer actually played Overlord in the original MW2, so now he's back with Call of Duty just in a bit of a different way, an evil way I should put it. I know I even made a video a couple of months ago where I speculated that it could have actually been Peter Cullen who voices Optimus Prime that's voicing Shepard in this game because one of the teaser clips that was released really did sound like Peter Cullen playing General Shepard. Take a listen. Got a heli incoming. Right on time. But it's also unclear if they'll repeat a similar beat to where Shepard betrays Ghost or Task Force 141 at any point in this story. I don't think they'll do a direct copy-paste of that plotline, but something similar will likely happen. We know the Shadow Company is in this game. We get a new look at this group in the new trailers that we got as well. And it looks like, yeah, Soap is going to go ahead and take one of these Shadow Company soldiers out for whatever reason. We have this Philip Graves character played by Warren Cole that's apparently going to be the leader of the Shadow Company in this game. So I think they'll probably do a bit of a different plot twist with how we go against Shadow Company at some point later in the campaign. Very curious what Shepard's role could be in that betrayal, though, if there is any at all. And I do think, as of now, the community has come together to conclude that the Shadow Company group altogether is based on Blackwater, so there's some real-life inspiration there for the group itself, and I think people saw similar inspiration to Shadow Company in the original MW2 from 2009. But like I just mentioned, this Philip Graves character is played by Warren Cole, and as of now, a lot of insiders have claimed that Warren Cole's role in the game will be similar to the original General Shepard from 2009, being the leader of Shadow Company, but it also looks like Laswell could be the double-crosser in this game that somehow employs Shadow Company to do her dirty work, 
and it also seems like she makes an agreement of sorts with this new character that we see also in the trailer. But it's funny because a good year ago, we had Ralph's Valve claiming that Warren Cole was going to voice General Shepard in this game. Not saying that couldn't have been true at one point in time, but it's funny seeing how many times Ralph has claimed something super specific that just didn't come true. Not to say that a lot of things that he did claim weren't true, because I know there are a few things out there he reported on which are proven correct, but there's a lot of other things that just weren't correct. So that's why I say take every rumor with a grain of salt, of course. But if Ralph is to be believed about the themes of this upcoming campaign, he claimed the following about the themes themselves. Rule of law versus law of criminals, and morality versus morality versus immorality. We have revenge, containment versus eradication of crime, sacrifice and perseverance, duality, insanity madness, transformation, and the hypocrisy of Western imperialism. So I definitely think you can see a lot of these themes already from the trailer of Lone, really setting the tone for what the campaign is going to be like. But it could be another classic example of somebody throwing crap at a wall and seeing what sticks. And then it could have also been educated guesses based on the tone that we saw in MW19, which could have easily been used to determine what the tone could likely be in the Modern Warfare sequel. So with that being said, those are some of the big takeaways from these trailers, but there's a lot more. Don't go anywhere. So now when it comes to some weapons, you can get your first look at what looks like the MSR in the PC trailer here, but it might not be the MSR. I know people out there in the replies to this tweet were saying that's likely the M2010 ESR, which does look very similar to the MSR, so that could explain the confusion there, but they've edited the model visually from the teasers from green to black. One is probably the early build of the game. The other one is the final build. The game is very close to launch, so I think the game has gone gold at this point, but obviously we got a very similar shot like this with Soap in the original trailer we got for Campaign Early Access, but that's been modified slightly here for this launch trailer, as you guys can see. And the thing is, right, this account has gotten quite a few things correct in the past when it comes to Modern Warfare 2 leaks and rumors, but take everything with a grain of salt. I think this was the same account that also claimed the Captain America or Indiana Jones crossover was coming to Vanguard. So again, things could have been misinterpreted. This person may not be posting any of these spicy rumors or leaks with malintention, but sometimes things just are proven wrong. It happens. This account recently confirmed that weapons like the Bryson 800, Bryson 590, Lockwood 725, Desert Eagle, MCPR 300, the Riot Shield, Honey Badger, and the SA700 will be in Modern Warfare 2. Many of these weapons can actually be seen in these two trailers, which is great. It's a really nice sequence where you get to see a lot of different weapons pretty quickly across different frames. It was a phenomenal part on the editor's job to kind of include really cool edits like this in these trailers. But also what was noticed during the multiplayer beta is that the MCPR 300 is part of the Bryson 500 weapon progression tree. So with that being said, that also lines up with the leak from the same account who said that that weapon is going to be featured in the game at some point in time. We then have a report from the Ghost of Hope that the AK is going to be the biggest weapon platform in Modern Warfare 2. You can see different versions of you can see different versions of the AK across different trailers and promotional material for Modern Warfare 2. We're going to be seeing the AK-105, the AK-103, the AKS-74U, the RPK, the PP-19 Bison, and the PP-19 Vitsias. I probably said that completely wrong, but yeah, that's going to be a huge weapon tree. Some very different weapons in the same progression path, which does sound very exciting. And again, a lot of these weapons are already seen quite a bit across different trailers and teasers that we've gotten for the upcoming campaign. Now, there's also some really good gameplay shots in here. We could see a new version of All Gillied Up that'll be in this game. A lot more action over there in Chicago. Something big's gonna happen. So I was born and raised in Chicago, so I'm very excited about that mission in particular. Cannot wait to see what happens on October 20th when we get to play it early. And then over during this frame, we get to see a jug suit being used in the multiplayer. Now, we already knew the jug suit was coming back as a kill streak, but I guess there's more confirmation of that right here. And we also have this shot of Price fist bumping somebody, but it's only two people in this helicopter. So my tinfoil hat theory is that that could be a shot of Spec Ops. So and Spec Ops is, as of right now, confirmed to be a duos-only mode. I talked about this a little bit in my previous video yesterday, where I went over this rumor that apparently the game is only launching with two Spec Ops missions, which is a little questionable, but I'm sure many more will be added during the post-launch season. And then we get confirmation there'll be 500-plus customization options if you're on PC. The graphics look phenomenal, but there was a big question asked in the comments of both these trailers, where's Gaz, where's Alex, or Farah? And we haven't seen much of Alex as of now. He's confirmed to be in the game. I mean, he kind of came back from the dead 
said during season three of MW19. Faro was seen in the original multiplayer trailer from the COD Next event, but we know Gaz has also been pretty heavily marketed for the campaign. Kind of worried that he maybe dies early on in the story itself, hence why you don't really see him much in some of these other trailers that we've gotten, but hopefully Gaz doesn't get killed, but I do think somebody's gonna have to bite the bullet at some point in the Modern Warfare 2 story to keep those stakes high, but this shot right here in particular, in my opinion, foreshadows some type of big plot twist, betrayal, death of sorts. I mean, this shot is just beautiful, seeing like half of somebody's face and then half of Ghost's face. I think that definitely is foreshadowing that somebody will die, hence the skull, right? But in terms of who that's going to be, it's a big unknown. But like I said earlier in the video, I do think Laswell is probably going to be a part of some type of corruption with Shadow Company, some betrayal that really pisses off Task Force 141, and it'll probably kick off a really strong post-launch story that we're going to see across Warzone 2, DMZ, Spec Ops, and possibly even the campaign DLC, which we talked about in depth in a previous video yesterday. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on a bunch of the secrets and weapons that were revealed in the brand new trailers? What do you think of the beautiful cinematics, the gameplay, and everything else we discussed. Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.